In our Farm Basics time today, we talk about a lot of things when it comes to corn harvest, about drying that corn down by fall. We look at dryers that use gas, dryers that use actually corn to dry corn, and, and this is all exciting, but we get so many questions from people, why can't we just dry the corn down in the field naturally? What factors out in the field help corn dry down? Well, let, let, first of all, let's start with why do we have to dry the corn down? When corn reaches maturity, it still contains about 35% moisture, roughly something like that. And that's just too wet to hold in a grain bin. It will spoil if you take corn that has 35% moisture and put it in a bin. In order to store grain in a bin for a long period of time, like uh, six to 12 months, you need that grain to be down into the 12 to 13% moisture range. And it's rare when corn gets to that point naturally in the Northern US, because by the time it reaches maturity, well, here we are in October, you know what? We don't have a whole lot of heat anymore, and heat is what's required to get that corn to dry down. Well, there are so many things that help with dry down, and, and you look at certain parts of fields out there that are completely dry, where other parts of the field still have a lot of green in them and, and are really juicy yet. You say, well, wait a minute, how come that part of the field dried down a little faster? There are quite a few things naturally that will cause corn to dry down. One of them is just premature death of the stock. There's other diseases that could be present out in the field too. Yeah, or uh, insects. So insects, for example, like corn borers. Now, most of the corn in the United States is BT corn. It's a natural protein that humans and livestock can digest just fine, but there's a certain bug called the European corn borer that can't digest this protein. So anyway, what happens with these bugs is normally if they are in non-BT corn, they will feed in this corn stalk and they will cut off most of the water and nutrient transport systems in that plant. So again, you run into premature death. And we used to see this all the time before we had BT corn or before farmers would actually spray to kill these bugs. So now a lot of farmers are planting this BT corn and they're saying, well, my corn is staying green until late in the fall. What's going on? Well, it's not that there's anything wrong. It's actually that something was right. They used to have all the insect problems killing their corn off. Now the corn is actually living till it reaches full maturity. So on our farm, what we're doing in order to help get our corn a little drier in the fall is we're planting earlier maturing hybrids. To put it real simply, we plant 90 day corn up to 105 day corn. So where it would take 90 days for this one hybrid to reach maturity, it takes 105 days for the other one to reach maturity. So that's a, a pretty big difference right there. We used to plant a lot of 105 and 110 day corn when we were getting a lot of premature death. Now we have to plant 90 to 95 day corn now that our corn is actually living until it reaches maturity. Okay, let's take weather and bugs and all these things out of the equation. When you're looking at a corn plant, Plant, whether it's in your garden or out in a field, one of the biggest things that I look at is the husk around the outside of the ear. When you're looking at that ear of corn, a lot of different hybrids will have the ear actually stick out further than the husk. And that allows for a little more rapid dry down than if the husk completely covers all the way over the end of the ear. The other thing to look for at this time of year is a loose husk or a really tight husk. If you've got a hybrid that has a characteristic where that husk stays really tight on the ear, it's tough for that moisture to escape out the ear. So if you, if you want dry down in the field a little bit faster, look for those hybrids with husks that open up a little bit more and let air move through it in the fall. Well, there are quite a few things to look at when it comes to corn and the corn drying down. And as a non-farmer, you might just drive past the cornfield and think, well, corn is corn. But, you know, there's a lot of difference to whether or not you can store that corn in the fall. And why this is also why some farmers are harvesting early, some are harvesting late, because they're waiting for that corn to dry down naturally if they can. Drying fuel is really expensive. And we just, as farmers, don't want to pay that bill when we can let Mother Nature do at least most of the work for us. Well, one thing about corn harvest that slows it down is if you've got some weeds out in the field like our weed of the week. We'll show you how to kill this tough weed coming up later in the show.